Yeah. All right. I'm a black hawk. What? I don't do <laughs> it is very just random. Um, so anyways, ladies and gentlemen, when we're taking the cube root, I'm going to do this kind of the slow way to maybe help out some people that want me to gonna go back through this again, um, or if you're taking a test. Um, but then I'll also show you guys a little bit of a quicker way to um, go through this. But basically, guys, the main important thing when we are um, when we're doing these problems, the easiest thing to do, I think, as far as understanding standpoint, is to break down your numbers when trying to take the cube root, square root, fourth root, what it doesn't matter. So you break them down into what we call our prime factors. Well, 4 can be written as 2 times 2. Everybody agrees with that, right? Yeah. Square, square 80, though, is a little bit difficult because I'm going to have to use a factor tree because this is kind of big here. So I can say this is 20 times 4, right? I could do this as 5 times 4. This I could do as um, 2 times 2. This I could do as 2 times 2. Do you agree? It's okay, I'm going to move. So times, I have the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, now what does the cube root represent? The cube root represents um, what number multiplied by itself three times. So when we're looking at simplifying this, we're going to want to take the cube root, Brianna, of numbers that are multiplied by themselves three times. Well, under this cube root, I only have 2 multiplied by itself twice, so I can't do anything. Over here, I have three twos that are multiplied by each other. Um, so therefore, I can't do anything here, so I'm just going to keep that as the cube root of 4 times the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 is 2. Cube root of 2 times 5 is 10. Now, so I simplified it. That's what I said in, in doing these problems is simplify first. Then the next step is to multiply. Now remember, when we multiply, we can only multiply numbers inside the radical by each other and numbers outside the radical by each other. Well, this is a 2. This doesn't have a number in front. So it's, can, you can say it as 1. So you could just have 2. And then 4 times 10 is 40. 40. Now again, I want to look into, can I break down 40? Can I simplify 40 again? Well, 10 times 4, 5 times 2, 2 times 2, right? So again, I can simplify this. The cube root of 40 is going to be 2 cube root of 5. So I have 2 times 2 cube root of 5. Does everybody see how I got that? Because yeah. once I multiplied, I was able to simplify again. So my final answer is 4 cube root 